Hey, I'm Steve Otari, and welcome to Burst in the Bubble. This episode, we're here at Coney Island, the home to the world's most famous boardwalk, Brooklyn's Eiffel Tower, and the only place I know of where you can pay to shoot a freak. Let's get started. From the end of the Civil War to World War II, New Yorkers flocked to Coney Island to trade in the hot city summer for the sandy shores and amusement parks. At its height, Coney Island saw one million visitors each weekend, making it, for the time, the most popular vacation spot in the nation. But as the car became more popular and traveling farther became easier, Coney Island started to lose its appeal. Fast forward decades and this is the Coney Island of today. A mix of worlds, it still contains many of the same fixtures that made it appealing in the early parts of the 20th century. And that is why we think it's still a really cool part of New York that you should check out. So how to get here? Getting to Coney Island is pretty easy. Just jump on the Metro North in Fairfield, and in a little over an hour, you'll be in Grand Central Station. From there, take the downtown four or five subway line to 14th Street Union Square. Then at 14th Street Union Square, just jump on the N or Q line taking either downtown train straight to Coney Island. Once you're here, your best bet is probably to start at the boardwalk. The boardwalk is a place to grab some food, head over to the beach, or play an arcade game. If you're in the mood for something a little different, check out Shoot the Freak. It's the only place that advertises paying to shoot live humans as a game. And it's harder than you might think. Five dollars will get you 15 shots. Also on the boardwalk is the Wonder Wheel. Part Ferris wheel, part roller coaster, this ride has stationary and rocking cars that slide along a track. It opened in 1920 and is not only a landmark of Coney Island, but movies as well. Appearing in recent Hollywood productions such as Requiem for a Dream, Uptown Girls, and Cloverfield. Of course, if you want to just catch some rays, then right off the boardwalk you can hit the sand and find your perfect spot on the beach for some relaxation. But when you start getting hungry, then it's time to head one block over from the boardwalk and have the caviar of Coney Island, a hot dog from Nathan's. Nathan's opened in 1916 and has been serving hot dogs ever since. If Coney Island is the place where the hot dog was born, then Nathan's is the place where it was perfected. Every July 4th, Nathan's holds a hot dog eating contest. The current record is 68. My personal best, three. It's good. I actually really like it. So now that we've had our world famous hot dogs, it's time to potentially lose those world famous hot dogs on a world famous roller coaster, the Cyclone. It opened in 1927 and cost a quarter to ride. Today, the price is a little steeper, $8, but it still gives the same thrill it did when it first opened. The Cyclone is on virtually every top roller coaster list and publication. Unforgettable and always talked about is the Cyclone's first 85-foot, 60-degree drop that sends you soaring at breakneck speeds on one of the nation's oldest roller coasters. The Cyclone's website even claims that Charles Lindbergh was quoted in Time magazine as saying that a ride on the Cyclone was more thrilling than his historic first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. With talks such as this, we had to find out the truth. So me and one of the camera operators, Andrew Egan, decided to give the Cyclone a test ride. Here is what we saw.
Island is a bit of everything. Part beach, part amusement park, part history lesson. And it's all these different pieces in one place that makes it an experience quite unlike anywhere else. We've shown you where to eat, where to play, and how to get here. Now it's time for you to experience it for yourself. From Coney Island, I'm Steve Otari, and I'll catch you on the other side of the bubble.